I have no time for Time Magazine or oh, Rolling Stone. I have no wish for wishing wells or oh, wishing bones. I have no house in the country. If you think I'm joking, then I'm a one-line joker in a public bar. <clears throat> Got the morning voice and can't and already weak voices. Worse than it usually is. All right, welcome back to the last installment of Baker Street Muse. We're going to cover Mother England Reverie today. Uh, one of my favorite sections of this uh, piece, uh, including that change in tempo in the middle, which is really cool, that seg uh, segues into the uh, next part of the piece. All right, well, let's just jump right into it. This is going to be based around, once again, we're capoed on the second fret. It's going to be based around the tonality of E minor. And uh, when it comes out of the instrumental section on the, on the record, he does a, a slide down from here on the A string. That note. You're going to want to use your middle finger, I think, to slide down into that E minor chord. So the strumming pattern on the first part goes something like this. Alright, so yeah, you can hear that downstroke and then so that's it's kind of it follows just think about the vocal and you'll get that strumming pattern have no time for time for time magazine or rolling so Hear how that strumming pattern goes with the vocal. So that's the way to get the strumming pattern. So when we get to the C, and once again I'm playing the C with the fifth in the bass. So when we get to the C, it's... And then cuts off. I had no time for Time Magazine or Rolling Stone. All right, then you get that little uh, riff that he does on the C, starting on the C chord. And once again, what I love about Ian's composing is that's such a distinctive little riff. Um, just, you know, it's one that I've never heard a similar riff like it. He's just able to write these very unique little riffs in, in between the verses uh, that really make it unique. So the riff starts here. We're playing a C chord, starting on the D string, open, arpeggio, the bottom three notes of the C chord. Come back to the same uh, note on the D string. 
and then go down to the A here. Open D, and then you're going down from there. So you're going from the A string, open, uh, E string, E string open, and then strumming this E minor chord. So that's the riff, and you know, of course, he repeats that often during this portion. All right, so we get to. Uh, I had no wing. I had no wish for wishing wells. Oh, wishing bones. That's a low note. Have no house in the country. I have no motor car. Oh yeah, I forgot. On the second time he does the riff uh, after uh, "Have no wish for wishing wells or wishing bones," uh, he does the riff E minor harmonics just on the top three strings and then repeat the riff I have no house in the country I have no motor car So when he gets to that part, he's uh, he's playing the E string, C, uh, the E minor chord, playing the E string, just playing the bottom two notes of the E minor chord, and then walking up on the E string. So he does a down stroke on that G chord when he gets to the when he gets to the root note. All right, now this part um, trips. Uh, it's easy to get tripped up on this part because there's an odd measure here. So you have to readjust your downbeat when you get to this G chord. So I'll show you what I mean here. So you're go going along. You can probably hear my foot tapping. And then you have to make that one when you hit the G chord. Oh. If you think I'm So hear how he strums that. Think I'm joking, then I'm a one line joker in. So uh, you cut it off on the word on the lyric in. One line joker in. One line joker in. Joker in. So just think that joker in. You're doing all downstrokes on that. I'm just a one line joker in a public bar. All 
All right, so it it just repeats the verses the same way when we get to that second, but he's going to change it up when we get to the second one of these. And I want no top 20 funeral when when he sings that lyric. We're going to change it up a little bit, but we have to shift back. We have to, it's an odd measure once again, so we have to shift our one when we get to the G chord the same way we did last time. Okay, so he's going G chord, D chord, E minor. And I wanna know time. So he walks up to the G. And I, I gotta sing it. And I wanna know time. So back to the D chord. Grand. So the C chord does the same thing. And I want no time to or a hundred grand. All right, now we go into that next section where he changes the tempo, which I love the change here. There was a little boy stood on a burning log. All right, so what we're doing there is just E minor. There was a little boy, D, stood on a burning log, back to E minor. So we're picking those notes on the A string, open D, and then putting our finger down on the D string. There was a little boy stood on a burning log. Then to G power chord. Rubbing his hands with glee. All right, now, so another really strange time here. It's really, uh, it was hard for me to get this timed right uh, because the F sharp major and the B minor fall on the off beat. So it's, this is on the off, on beat. Hands with. And then that uh, F sharp minor is gonna come on the off beat. So if you can hear my foot again. Uh, Wow, it's hard for me to do. Uh, The way to think about this though is uh, tap out eighth notes, eighth notes instead of quarter notes and you'll get this because you can you can fall on the next eighth beat. So you can hear when you're when you're doing eighth beats, you're also doing the offbeat, uh, you know, in in when you're counting quarter notes. So it's easier to get the timing that way. And then by the time he gets back to the G chord, he's back on beat. So those that's the tricky part of that is the F sharp major and the B minor fall on the offbeat. So tap it out in eighth notes once again. And you'll get it. All right, so when we go to the B minor chord, we're gonna lift off uh, on on the B string. back to the G power chord. There was a little boy stood on a burning log Rubbing 
his hands with glee He said, oh, Mother England, did you light my fire? Did you like my smile? I think that's the lyric. He said, oh, Mother G power chord, England, and then suspend it. He said, oh, Mother England, did you light my smile? And then it's A major. And then you can hear he does a little thing. He takes the open uh, B string before going to the A minor. So he's making the A major an A minor. Did you like my smile? Or did you like this fire C under me D? B major. Said a mother in land, did you like my smile? Or did you like this fire under me? One day I'll be a minstrel in the gallery And paint you a portrait of the queen And if sometimes I sing to a cynical degree It's just the nonsense that it seems so I drift down through the Baker Street Valley So I drift down through the Baker Street Valley In my steep-sided unreality When all said and all's done Couldn't wish for a better one it's a real life, ripe, dead certainty that I'm just a big street muse. All right, so we're coming out of that. <clears throat> so the riff starts on the D string here. G string. That on the A string. And then we're going to jump up to the uh, G string. So you can you can actually play the, the so you can kind of play the G chord here and it doesn't hurt anything. So the first one once again is And I won't even try to sing the lyric cuz it's it's way up there for me and I can't I can't get to it but it's uh I'm walking down the gutter thinking in the same old way I tried to catch my eye but I looked the other way I think is the lyric here Alright, and when, then when we come out of that riff, we're going to go just to an E minor chord. So it's... Alright, so then we're just uh, doing down beats on the E minor chord and we're opening the D string there. Indian restaurants that curry my brain. Alright, so we go to this B flat. Tritone. Newspaper warriors changing the name. They advertise 
is from the station stem. Okay, there we're going to a D. Uh, it goes D, B flat, and back to E minor. Uh, it's a very quick change, and I, I recommend playing the D power chord. So we're just playing the A string, D string, G string, and B string of the, of the D chord. I play it like this because I need to get to the B flat really quick, so I'm fretting it with my uh, middle finger and my little finger. That allows you that allows you to get the D and the B flat very quickly. It's 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 quick and it's it's kind of hard to hit. All right, and then uh, when it gets to the end of that little section, it just ends on the E minor chord. Newspaper warriors changing the name. They have ties from the station stands. With cold pet hands. So when it comes out of the E minor, it just goes back into the first verse, which we've covered in an earlier tutorial. I'll just go over a little bit of it. Windy bus stop, click shop window here. Shady gentleman, fly button feel. In the underpass, the blind man stands with cold tan. You can catch me on another line. All right, and then it just goes back into that chorus section. So, uh, yeah, we've covered that in an earlier tutorial. So at the end of the song, just a big street muse. So it goes uh, from a C to a D to it back to the E minor. So um, there it goes C, and then Martin Barr plays on the electric guitar on the B string, open G, and then the D chord. And then it goes to that E major chord. And then it comes down to the E minor with the E string fretted on the third fret above the capo. And that's the end of it. All right, so that's Baker Street Muse, um, all except for those instrumental sections, which uh, uh, Martin Barr kind of dominates uh, some of it with the electric uh, guitar. All right, uh, till next time, I'm not sure what I'll be getting to next, but it'll be something good, so stay tuned. Talk to you later.
拜。